You know what? Follow me this way. We're going to walk and talk at the same time. Um, so <laughs> I just shared this on my Snapchat story. Uh, I wanted to put it in the video because I think it's freaking hilarious. So I got here and I usually don't like filming. I like going in the middle of the night because there's hardly ever anybody else that's here. But I don't like filming when like other people are around. It's weird. I think it's weird for them to see me filming. So pardon me while I go through my bag. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got here and like five minutes later, I was standing at the locker. I was like, I was putting my stuff in and uh, somebody showed up. And I was like, geez, like, I wanted to film so bad, but I was like, whatever, you know, I'm just gonna get my workout on and it doesn't matter, because I was planning to do both. I wanted to get my workout in and uh, get a video film. So, long story short, I was a little bummed, but I was like, I'm just gonna go at it. Got my music in, was just getting it. And, <laughs> and um, I forget, I came back out here and I was like, man, like, where'd that person go? I looked, and so here's, here's essentially what happened. So I was walking this way, out of the corner of my eye, I see the person, phone out, in the mirror, taking a selfie. I was like, whatever, like, I do that, like, throughout my workout a lot of times. Like, I didn't see anything strange about it. All I know is that they showed up, took a selfie in the mirror, at the gym, and then took off, because <laughs> they're gone. And it hasn't been that long. Like, I know for a fact they did not work out, because I've, I've only been here for like 10 minutes, if that. So, wow. <laughs> we are gonna get back to this workout. Um, yeah, I'm having uh, some pain in this shoulder, which I had some yesterday, but it wasn't too bad. I aggravated it, I'm sure, obviously, with doing my deadlift PR and yeah. But anyway, so taking it easy on the shoulder, uh, gonna do legs today primarily, gonna get calves, gonna do leg press, squats, and then probably there's a machine out there. I'm not sure what it's called, sorry. Like, I'm not a pro, I don't know the names of these things but you like lay down and you curl your legs back. Um, so is that hamstrings or works back here? Anyways, we're gonna do that too. Then we're gonna call it good and we're gonna head home and get some rest. So let's get back to it. Light work. So after that fun little bit here, I decided to go ahead, after I finished my squats, take a break, film this for you guys before anybody else showed up, and I can have a chance to go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna walk around here and talk to you, and if you know me, you kind of know what that's about, because it's a real bad habit I have of walking around and talking. But um, I wanted to take this opportunity and make a video that I've been trying to make for you guys for quite a while. So this is gonna be part one of our three-part series, the past, the present, and the future. So I'm gonna title it My Dream, part one, the past. So today we're gonna to talk about what it was that got me into this kind of lifestyle and kind of where I began um, to give a little bit of a better understanding of who it is that I am <laughs> and where I came from. Uh, it started out with just walking. And what happened is I had a, a really big. 
you just see that? I just hit that wall. I totally hit that wall. <laughs> um, I had a really big life change that occurred. And for those that are close to me, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, I won't go into the specifics for that because it's really sort of irrelevant. <laughs> um, but I had a really big life change to happen for me. And that's kind of what pushed me over the edge to start. And all I did was I'd go to work, come home, I'd eat, and then I'd go and, uh, and I'd walk. My time was, uh, I had a whole lot more time, free time I should say. Um, and I wanted to utilize that in a constructive way. I was not happy with myself, my self-esteem, all of that. My view of myself was really terrible. And I knew that I wanted to change it. So I started walking and it kind of evolved from there. It went from walking to cutting out soda to cutting out uh, Red Bull and then kind of spiraled out of control from there. My sister actually, I think, takes the credit for showing me this environment and this lifestyle because after I got to that point where I was walking, then I started running, doing those different things. She was going to Planet Fitness. She could take people as a guest. She invited me. I went with her. I went and worked out with her multiple times. And after like the third or fourth workout, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a membership <laughs> because I wanna go even if she can't go. Um, and the rest is history. <laughs> um, not really, but she really does get the credit. So Tita, thank you. <laughs> um, I was hooked on the environment and the reason for that was that what I found was headphones in, volume up, me, the gym, nothing else, like everything else faded away. And uh, it was like my escape. So that's what uh, kind of drove me and is awesome. I, at that point, weighed 298 pounds. I wore a size 38 pants. I was a wreck. Um, and I had really just like, I don't know, I didn't like any of it. So during that first year, I lost, uh, I think when I did the math, it was like 130 pounds or just under. Um, but essentially I dropped from 298 all the way down to 169 or 168 at my lowest. But I got back in it and yeah, that's kind of the gist of where I started when I began. The purpose of me sharing this with you guys is not just the exercise of me talking and you guys listening and, you know, it's more of like to share with you guys that it, what you see now <laughs> and like through my social media, through my Instagram, through my Snapchat, through here, um, it's taken a while to get here. Um, I try and share some of my transformation stuff and before and after photos and an accompanying story with that I think is important for context to let you guys know that this obviously it's not an overnight thing, obviously it takes time and energy in order to do it, but I wanted to share it with you guys and yeah, that's kind of it. So I did want to thank you guys for sticking through this because this is definitely going to be a longer video than normal, so I appreciate it. With that being said, I know I did this in the last video, but we'll do it again. This is Tumwater Anytime Fitness. It's amazing. If you're looking for a gym near around this area, I highly suggest this one. It is a blizzard outside. It's terrible. They're open. They don't have to be staffed 24 seven. They have keyless entry things. Um, and yeah, so if there's power, you're pretty much good. Um, if you're looking for a place to call home, this is an awesome place. Um, you should check it out. So, and they don't like pay me to say that. I mean, I wish like maybe they'd give me a discount on my membership or something. Huh? Huh? Probably not. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's a cool place. You guys should check it out. We 
have wasted enough time, not wasted, I think it's productive time. We have filmed enough. We're gonna get back to this workout. You guys are gonna come with us? Okay. Just kidding, I'm holding the camera. It's like, you gotta come with me because we're doing it. Um, anyways, thank you guys again for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. All my links will be down in the description below. Appreciate it. We'll check you guys in the next one. See you later.